100% Chelsea. Chelsea won Southampton nil. Chris! Hello! Hello. Right, well, obviously we're on phone duty again today, so it's going to be a bit... You're going to have to yell. I have to yell? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, first of all, I'm soaking wet and pissed off because it's the first time I haven't brought a coat with a hood in like four or five weeks, but that's a different story. No, I'm happy. I thought we played well. I thought we played really well. I mean, Fabregas, first of all, played very well. And he was angry. He was angry. He was riled up today. I don't know what it was, but he played well. And he got in their faces and he got in their grills and he actually played a game of football. He didn't just pontificate around with the ball. Um, Marcus Alonso, man of the match for me, he yeah. played excellent. He, he defensively sound. I mean, hit between him and Kante, the amount of tackles they went and crunching in. And it was, it was just, a, it was a lot better today. I'm happy with today. I was, a, you know, I was a bit, despite the fact we won 3 1 at Huddersfield, I was a bit despondent because it, it, although we, we won the game we didn't like we didn't play as well as we could have done at uh, West Ham obviously I mean that was a travesty but yeah that's not talking about yeah no at least we had a shot today we've done something right we got the game we got the, we got the goal we controlled it well I mean there was a couple of times when Southampton were on the break and I was, I was, I was a bit nervous but you know defence held up and you know I'm, I'm feeling a lot more optimistic now I think I think we can go and pull some points in and you know put a chase on at least you know at the end of the day still need to score top four and you've got to play well to get that so you've got to carry on uh, what, what did you think about obviously today let's look, looking at the transfer window as well 1-0 like I said got the points that's all that matters what do you think of Bertrand today because he's someone who apparently we're targeting in January oh, I'd, I'd happily have Bertrand back but it's a case of is he going to play football do, is he really going to get ahead of Alonso is he really going to get ahead of Dave I don't think he is and I don't think he's going to want to come back and not play football you know I'd, I'd rather get some kind of agreement that we'll buy Bertrand back in maybe next year maybe a future ahead but because if we pull him in and then he doesn't play football he loses that form and he loses he loses his skill he, lo- he doesn't you know it, it, there's no point bringing him back now because we've got plenty of depth in that position we need we need midfielders and we need another striker that's you know good you know because I mean even even like everyone's saying to me you know what, what my comments about Bashua and things like that but you look at when we came here in 2004 like before Mourinho even came in you had good Johnson you had Hasselbank you had Zola you know three strikers before you even start playing that we need another striker because we need that depth we need options so when players are out of form we can draft a player who's in form or give someone else a chance to make a name mm. if you're hungry for it you're going to play better and I don't think Bashua is hungry enough that's why you think he's not starting well, I mean, let's put it this way. Morata's not starting and we're not starting with a striker. I mean, OK, yes, Hazard, Pedro and William are all world-class players, but surely if you've got an informed striker on the bench or you've got a striker on the bench and you ain't going to play one, you bring him in. But Conte's not, you know, he's the manager, he decides who plays and obviously Bashuai in his mind ain't doing it. It just ain't.